welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, today's film is a tag video uh, which Nikki Raven started, my YouTube wifey. Uh, three things I never or rarely do. I have got things listed here. If you were quick enough, you would have paused that. Hopefully, you didn't. Because uh, I'm about to tell you anyway. So, Nikki started this tag because she's two years younger than me. She's 43, I'm 45. Um, so we're of a similar age. So, some of my answers are the same as hers probably for very similar reasons. However, I also have different answers to her for things that she does do, and that I don't. So, here are my five things that I never or rarely do. And I do have two bonus things that could have made the list, but the other things are things that I don't do more, if that makes sense, as in the rarely do. So the two things that I do super, super rarely, but not as rarely as the top five, are full slashes. Generally, I only put those on if I know I'm going out somewhere and I want to look particularly glamorous. Um, but a lot of the time with fibre on my eyes are so watery, I just can't get the damn things to stick on for the life of me. They start curling up at the corners or on the inside. So, But I do occasionally, very, very occasionally, stick some false lashes on. The other thing that I very, very rarely do, for very, very obvious reasons, is apply eyeshadow with my fingers. What would would you want those talons going anywhere near your eyeball, particularly if you only see with one of them as it is? Precisely. So those are my two bonuses. Now, number five on my list is huge concealer triangles. If you're in your 20s and you have studio lights and you have blurring filters, maybe that looks good. In real life, when you haven't got studio lights on you and you're walking around, you know, interacting with people, huge great triangles of concealer, it's just not necessary. It wastes product. It really does. I do two dots of the Revolution Peach and then two or three dots of whichever concealer, unless I'm using shape tape, in which case one dot does it all. Literally one dot does it all. There is no need to do these huge triangles all the way down your cheek and then oh, I must blend it all in. Please, we can't even see the foundation. You've put so much concealer over the top, what was the point in putting foundation on? That annoys me when people do foundation reviews and then do like huge bits of concealer here and down their nose and on their forehead and on their chin and you're like, so the only bits where we can actually see the foundation is your jawline and the, the sides of your nose then, yeah? So I don't do that. Just don't. Mm -mm. Partly because I'm a cheapskate and I don't like wasting money. Because, you know, makeup not cheap. Number four is curling my lashes. I do have lash curlers. And if I'm putting false lashes on, I'll sometimes remember to curl my own lashes first. 
I'm quite lucky really, my lashes are quite curly naturally, they don't go out dead straight and they don't tend to droop, so I just, I just forget, I genuinely, I just forget, it's that simple. Number three is lip liner, and in fact I can prove the point, because this is the lipstick I'm wearing today, this is the Revolution Retro Lux Metallic Lip Kit in shade Sovereign. So, there's Lippy. There's the pencil, which as you can still see, has still got its protective plastic on it. At least I hope you can see that. It comes down to here. Can you see that? So I've never used that pencil. I just don't do lip liners. I don't see the point. You know, it's if I'm wearing a bright or a deep lipstick, I'm going to use a liquid lipstick anyway, and you can line by using the edge of the doe foot, and then it dries down, and it shouldn't bleed out into your lines. I mean, that's that's really what lip liner is is for. It's to help stop lipsticks from bleeding up into fine lines as you get older. It's also a good way of evening up the shape if you've got, you know, one side of your mouth is, for example, with me, um, you know, one side of my, my bottom lip is fuller than the other. I just overline my lips with whatever lipstick I'm using and it's fine. Um, I just, I just never use them. I think the only lip liners I've got <laughs> Is when I've bought them in like a set like this. This one was actually given to me by Sophie. Um, and uh, nine times out of ten, I take the pencil out and give it to one of my mates because I just don't use them. I just don't. Number two, water lining and tight lining. Now, the difference between those, water lining is putting colour on the wet part of your lid, so between your eyeball and where your lashes start. Tight lining is doing the same thing but on the upper lid. Now, I've got very, very watery eyes anyway because of fibro. And at the moment with hay fever, it's so bad I can't even use eyeliner. I have occasionally put liners on my waterline to take photos and stuff for Instagram etc. It never stays, my eyes just water so much it either waters off or it ends up collecting in an eye booger in whatever colour the liner is. Um, I have used a pomade on my waterline and that lasted a bit longer. I have also used Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks but that was a bitch to get back off again afterwards. Uh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise using that on the waterline if you don't have to. Um, and I have actually got on way to me because I got the dispatch email yesterday, I think. I'd spent some of my birthday money at Colourpop. Um, and I've ordered the yellow uh, liner in the pot because Paulina from Paulina's Beauty um, she has a similar problem that she can't keep anything in her waterline and she said that potted yellow stays perfectly so I'm going to give it a go and see what it's like but I rarely if ever do that because it never stays for long enough to make it worth me doing you know and the number one thing that I don't do is baking now, I'm not talking cupcakes and pastries and pies. I'm talking putting a crap ton of powder on your under eyes. And under your bronzer or your contour. And everywhere. To, 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 to bake the concealer in so that it stays longer and it stays brighter. Again, if you're 20 years old, Maybe that'll look good for you. I'm 45. I have earned 
every single line, crease and wrinkle on my face. I am not prepared to go out and pay a fortune for Botox or for fillers because, as Lady Gaga once said, I'm beautiful in my way because God makes no mistakes. So if this hay wants my face to look, who am I to argue? That being said, I don't mind enhancing it a bit with some makeup, but baking when you're over 40, oh boy, it makes my under eyes look drier than an Egyptian sarcophagus. Methuselah's moccasin has more plumpness and moisture than, than my under eyes do if I bake. People are always telling me, oh, you're so lucky, you don't look your age. Yes, if I bake, I look 55, not 45. So baking of the facial variety does not happen. So, there we go. That is my five, with two bonuses, things that I rarely or never do in terms of makeup. So, I am now going to tag all my girlies. I am going to tag Nona and Anya, because bitches of Eastwick, I want you getting in on this one. Chelsea, because she's like pretty much half my age, so it'd be interesting to see what things she doesn't do. Uh, Anne, because I don't know if our first collab has gone up yet or not, but Anne, I want to see you do this. Marlin, I want to see you do it. Jessica, I want to see you do it. Linda, I want to see you do it. So, that is my challenge laid down. Are you prepared to take up the gauntlet? <laughs> okay, I'm quite clearly in a ridiculously silly mood. This, this iced coffee is... I don't know what it's doing, but... Uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll find out when I edit, huh? So, there we go. Uh, please double check you are still subscribed because I'm still getting people coming through telling me that they've been unsubscribed against their will even when they have the notification bell on and they've watched all of my films so I don't know what YouTube are doing right now but please when you watch my film just double check you are still subscribed I really appreciate that so all that remains for me to say rude interruption, do you mind, hmm. is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time, bye for now.